I'm, I'm, I'm begging you, please go look at the tab. I am trying, but I am exhausted and I am sleep deprived because I just watched the entirety of Stranger Things in five days. I'm very normal. Uh, hi. So somebody requested that I do a Jupiter tutorial, uh, the finger picking song I did almost a year ago. So that's what this is and I don't really have much else to say. This is my lovely electric guitar that I have been meaning to put into a cover forever and then just haven't put in a cover so I don't know. We're gonna see how it sounds today even though I'm not using my microphone. Um, yes, oh, this is basically just an audio test for this guitar. So Jupiter is a pretty straightforward song in my opinion. Uh, it's pretty much the same finger picking pattern the whole way through so it doesn't deviate from verse to verse or chorus to chorus. Um, and you don't even need to know chords if you want them. I believe they're G, E minor 7, C, and D, but you don't need to know them because you're not strumming or anything. You're just finger picking through the entire song. So I don't really consider that necessary information. Your guitar is going to be in standard tuning and you're going to have a capo on the second fret. I know in my video, I put the capo on the first fret, but that's because I prefer singing the song a half step down. In this tutorial, I'm gonna put it on the second so that it's as close to the original song as we can get. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is the general picking pattern for the song. This doesn't change too much. There are instances where you're going to skip over parts of it, but overall this stays the same. So it starts with the low E, and then it goes G, B, G, and then you do the high E, and then G, B, G again. So that open with no fingers on the fret will sound like this. and that's your general picking pattern. The intro, you're either gonna do just an open G uh, chord, or you can just leave it as your fingers on the third fret of the low and the high E. Doesn't really matter. I think I played it like this, which honestly was probably not the best decision because look at my wrist. Oh no, that is not good. Um, but yeah, so however you wanna do it, just as long as you get your fingers on the low and high E third fret. So you're gonna repeat that picking pattern that we did earlier, and the intro is just that four times through. Very simple. So that's gonna sound like this. I'm just gonna do half the time because otherwise it's gonna be a very long video. So again, that's low E, G, B, G, high E, G, B, G. So you go intro, which is that four times, not the one that I just played, but just the picking pattern four times and then you play it three times for the intro before you switch chords and I'll explain how to do that because this part is probably the most complicated if probably one of the most complicated parts of the entire song but it's it's really not that complex it's fine so what you do is you play through that And then this is where it gets complicated. You're going to go low E, G, B, G, bring your pointer finger down a fret, do low E, G, B, G again, and then take your finger entirely off, keep your finger on the third fret of the high E, and then just play the picking pattern through again. So that'll sound like this. And then you do that again, not the whole thing, just the, uh, just the high E down here. So once your finger is off the fret up here and you just have it on the lower string, you're just going to play through that four times. So twice through, that'll sound like this. You do that two more times before you transition into the C chord and from there it's back to the D. And then you just repeat the whole thing over again. Woohoo! This is going to sound really, really complicated. This is why I'm asking you to look at the tab and look at my cover or just listen to the song because it's so much easier to see it be played than explain it. So when you're transitioning to the C, the way that I like to do it, honestly, is kind of a hammer on. Um, but you basically, you play through the thing and then you switch to the C and then you just bring your upper finger down. So it's on the A string because you don't play the low E in a C chord. And then once you transition to the D, you're just playing the D string as well, but it's the same picking pattern. So this is going to go a lot easier when I show you. So I'm just gonna do that. So like I said, you just play through that. I believe you play through that whole thing 
twice? I honestly have no clue. I didn't prepare for this video at all. I just kind of sat down and started recording, so. Um, what the fuck? Hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stare at this out really quickly. Once you get through the first verse, which again, I explained that very, very badly, and I'm so sorry. I don't explain finger style well when it gets complicated, so to the person who asked this, I'm so, so sorry. Just, just look at my video, look at the tab, I'm so sorry. Cool, we're good, it's fine. So, for the verse, you're basically doing the same thing, just with the chords in a different order. So you go from C to D to G to E minor 7, I think. So you start with the C, go right into the D, and then you just move down the fret up here. So I'm going to show that to you, and then I will explain it, because I need to refresh it in my own head. <laughs> play through the C chord, which again is the A string, G, B, G, E, G, B, G. Then you're going to change this into a D chord, play the D string, G, B, G, and then the E string, G, B, G. And then you go up here and you just do the thing where you're moving down the fret so that even, so that it eventually goes back to uh, the open, basically. You do the thing that you were doing earlier, where you went from third to second to open with your finger still on the high E. So that sounds like this. again where you transition into the C chord that you did in the verse and then I think you play through that either twice or four times for the chorus again this is so hard to explain I'm sorry I should just not post this video but you know what I need to post it anyway because I need to post a video and I have been in a while and a person requested this and honestly I don't think it would be any better if I had prepared for this video so we're just, we're just gonna go with this okay so the structure of the song is you're gonna play through the verse twice and then the chorus and then the verse once and then the chorus twice I believe yeah. So that's basically Jupiter. Again, I don't learn from people explaining stuff like this to me. It just, it doesn't work for me. So I can't really teach the same way. So I'm really, really sorry. Again, the tab is linked down in the description. Please go look at that because it's much more informative and straightforward than I am. But still, I hope you guys are having a happy summer. I hope you can forgive me for this mess of a video. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. Sorry. Bye. We can leave right now, never come back home You're all I need Forget everything that we used to be Take me to another place, fly me up to Jupiter 